Hey everyone, it's Marissa, your Usborne Book Lady, and I'm going to share some of my favorite chapter books with you. So first we have Billy B. Brown, and there's also a boy companion series to this called Hey Jack, and by boy I mean the main character is a boy. And these are designed to be the um, very first chapter books. So as you can see, they've got nice big text. There's never going to be a point where a, a sentence spans a page, and there's lots of illustrations before. So they're designed just for kids that are transitioning out of readers and into independent chapter book readers. Um, chapter books, sorry. And hey, Jack, Jack and Billy B are best friends, and they show up in each other's stories. There are 15 of each of these series, and the really great thing about it is that if you have a boy that will only read books with boys on the covers and you need more than 15, he will be familiar with Billy by then, and he will probably be more likely to read a Billy B. Brown book. Now, this is the Billy B. Mystery series, and this is like a next step up from those. This is the same characters, and they form a mystery club, and they go around their town and solve mysteries. And I'll just show you a few pages from these. So you can see the font is still pretty big. There's still lots of white space, but there is more text per page, and the sentence structure is just a little bit more complicated. Now, all of these next books are about the same reading level as that um, Billy B. Mystery series. This is Jack Russell, and these books are about a dog who doesn't talk to humans. He only talks to other animals, and um, he likes to solve mysteries. And the whole series is filled with these really cute illustrations, like this is his nose map of the neighborhood. Um, it's just a really cute, engaging um, series that appeals to boys and girls equally. Fizz is, um, this story, Fizz and the Police Dog Tryouts, is very similar to Zootopia. So you can see this is, actually has a smaller font than that um, mystery series that I just showed you. Um, but he it, wants to be a police dog, and none of his family has ever been police dogs, and they're trying to talk him out of it, and he's got to, you know, succeed and meet his dreams, just like in Zootopia. Secret Mermaid, you can see about the same level of text per page as um, Fizz the Police Dog, and it's about a girl who gets a seashell necklace from her grandma, and it allows her to turn into a mermaid at night while she sleeps. And Bush Rex Rescue is, again, about the same level of text per page as the previous ones that I just showed you, and it's about a dog who's a pedigree dog, and um, he goes around with his owner and they go from, they're like doing a year of traveling around the country before the guy goes to college to become a veterinarian. And they go from different towns to, and help, um, in, you know, whatever problem, one of them is flooding, one of them, there's a big bush fire, that's this one. And they go around and they help, there's usually a vet that they hook up with there and help the animals. Fairy Ponies is one of my favorite series. It's about a girl who goes to visit her grandmother, and she discovers fairy ponies in the base of a tree on her grandmother's property, and she becomes sort of um, initiated into the fairy pony society, and she's given this little bag of fairy dust so that she can shrink herself down and go into the fairy pony world whenever she wants. It's a very cute little series. Scurvy Dogs is um, a, a graphic novel about this group of dogs that are pirates. Uh, they're, but they're pretending to be pirates, as you can see. They're not. It's a really cute little story. Very funny. My daughter loved this book. Axel and Beast is a brand new series, and it's about this guy named Axel, who is sort of a secret agent, and his this is his robotic robot, or his robotic robot. Obviously, it's a robot, um, but Beast. And Beast is a very emotive robot. He's very human. He's got very human traits like love and he gets scared of things. It's a cute little series. Operation Robot Storm is part prose and part graphic novel. It alternates between the two um, formats. And it's about a secret division of the Br British military that's made up entirely of yetis. It's a very silly, very funny series. EJ12 is about a girl who is 10 years old, and she's in the under-12 division of a spy agency. So she's a spy as well. She's got all these really nifty gadgets. And the cool thing about EJ12 is that when she's Emma Jacks, her normal girl, she's a normal, uh, she's got like 
problems with the bullies at school and she's afraid to jump into the deep end and things like that. But EJ-12 can overcome anything. So the way that it's set up is that whatever her mission is in this book, it helps her overcome whatever challenge she's having in her real life. So it's very um, like girl power type books. Really, really cute. And she rescues a baby animal in every book, a different kind of baby animal. Wheel Nuts is not a graphic novel. It's prose, but it's so visually appealing that when I saw it for the first time, I came home and kept thinking that it was a graphic novel. It's uh, it's a series where they're running, racing this this like crazy race where there are crazy obstacles. It's got a lot of um, there's there there's a group in the race that are babies and they make a lot of like poop and fart jokes. So that's really good for those Captain Underpants lover in your life. Um, but it's also just silly and really engaging and really high interest and visually appealing for the kids. The Gateway is one of my favorite series that we have. It's about this girl that moves into an old hotel. Um, she lives in Australia and her parents were these really high, like her mom was a diplomat and her dad was a scientist and she doesn't understand why they suddenly left their jobs and moved into this hotel. And then she finds out that it's actually a hotel for aliens because it's built on top of the largest network of wormholes in the known galaxies. And it's a really great, really great, um, fascinating book. Little scary, not too scary. But if you've got a first grader that's a little bit sensitive, this might not be for them. Um, Mapmaker Chronicles is a brand new series. Um, the king has promised a prize to the ship's captain who can bring him a map of the whole globe. And a farm boy named Quinn is chosen to go on the expedition. I actually have not read this one yet. I'm going to start reading it this week, and I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be very high interest. When I'm done, I'll make another video just about this. Oh, I forgot to mention Lily the Elf. Lily the Elf is also a first chapter book, so this would go along with Billy B. Um, same reading level, and it's about a little elf named Lily, obviously. It's a really cute little series. The Impossible Quest is also another of my favorite, um, like, late elementary, middle school type series. It's about this castle that gets overtaken by enemies, and the only people to escape are the pot boy, the guy that cleans all the pots, the um, girl that's learning to be the new teller, a guy that is training to be a knight, and the girl that is the daughter of the lord of the castle. And they have to go on this incredible mission where they, um, where they try to obtain gifts from a bunch of different mythical creatures in order to wake up the sleeping giants under the castle to defend the castle in their hour of need. Very high interest. Um, there are some scary parts to it, and it's a little bit graphic, so I wouldn't give it to like a second grader unless you know that they're capable of dealing with that, but it's really great for your middle schoolers and your upper elementary school kids. Clockwork Sparrow is a mystery about a girl who works in a big department store in the 20s. And she um, has to, her and her friends, solve a different mystery in every series. Really great. Very gentle reads. There is, like, death and bad people in it. But it, there's nothing graphic in it. And for the most part, they stay very safe. Would be a really great gentle read for that fourth grader who's reading at, like, a seventh grade level. This would be a good suggestion for them. The Sword of Koromori is like Percy Jackson, but with Japanese folklore. It's this kid goes to Japan to visit his estranged dad, and he discovers that he's actually part demigod, and he is has access and can see all of these different Japanese mythical creatures that other people can't see. Very good, high interest, engaging book. And Conspiracy 365, finally, was one of our first big kid series, and it is high interest, low level reading, very good for those reluctant readers in your life. And each month is, so this is January, this is book one, there are 12 books in the series, each month is a different book, and Cal has to um, escape he has to figure out what happened to his father, who he thinks died of an illness recently, but he discovers that it wasn't actually an illness. He was murdered, and he has to discover 
who murdered his father and what danger they are to his family now. So that was Conspiracy 365. I hope you are interested in some of those books. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me back on the event page if you're with the Facebook party or in the comments of this video. And if you liked this, um, if you like this, these books and you would like to find them, you can find these and all of our nearly 2,000 amazing titles at www.booksbymarissa or join my Facebook VIP group for ongoing discounts and specials. Thanks so much. Have a great day.